Good evening, I'm Ted Koppel, and this is ABC News tonight. In a speech relating to the Persian Gulf, President George Bush is about to speak to the country. Let's go now to the White House. The President's speech will start in approximately one minute. Some topics for today's speech will be the war, the budget, and Saddam Hussein, the tyrant in the East. The speech will last approximately 45 minutes long. The speech will also reveal military plans for the future. Now let's go to the White House with Good evening, people of the nation. I'm here tonight to talk to you about the war, the budget, and Saddam Hussein. Tonight, the bombing in Baghdad continues from Allied forces. As we enter our 31st night of bombing, we're right on schedule and our mission is going as planned. From sending Secretary of Defense Cheney and Joint Chiefs of Staff Powell to Saudi Arabia to give me a first-hand report on when and how to operate a ground attack. I will order ceasefire when Saddam makes an absolute obvious withdrawal from Kuwait. As for the question of targeting Saddam alone, no. It's our U.S. policy that we do not pinpoint one person. We are also not bombing civilian targets. To give you an update on the war, so far we've flown 2,800 sorties in the last 24 hours. We've had a B-52 go down the Indian Ocean. We've rescued five airmen but are still missing two. Are there any questions before I go on to the budget? Yes, Mr. President. Yes. How is Mrs. Bush feeling? You know, I'm sick and tired of this. You people are all the same. All you want stuff is to fill up your stupid articles in the newspaper. Now I think that is my business and I want you to butt out of my secret business because I'm just here to talk about the war and that's it. Okay, now you got that straight? Yes, sir. Well, George Bush making a statement in the White House. Now let's go to Tyler Mokeen and Hafshi Samraj in Baghdad, Iraq in the heart of the war. Are you there? Yes, Dad, I'm here. What is it like in Baghdad right now? Right now, there's... Is it the U.S. bombing Baghdad right now? No, Ted. As a matter of fact, the wave of fans just went over about two hours ago. Okay, now we have Hafji Samurai. He to talk to the U.S. He's a former Secretary of Offense for Iraq. Hafji, do you think the bombing is more or less than you expected? Oh, uh, it is much worse, worse, yes. Because we expected the U.S. to be all talk, but no, they came out fighting. Yes. Okay, uh, do you have any idea of uh, where Saddam might be, what he's doing now? Well, about now, he's probably sitting in the jacuzzi, drinking some whiskey, and letting all his people die. He should be killed. Yeah. Oh, we've heard that he killed some of his top generals. Did you witness any of this? You know, if it's true. No, I did not witness any of this, but I had a friend who witnessed it, but unfortunately, he was shot yesterday. Sorry. Well, finally, why are you not with him right now? Did he kick you out? What happened? Well, yes, he did kick me out. See, uh, I made a bad move. Well, I thought it was good, but he did not like it, so he sort of almost killed me. He shot a gun at me, but luckily I escaped with a wound. Would you like to see it? No, thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, that was Hockey Samurai. Back to you, Ted. Now let's go to a little blitzer at the Pentagon. Today at the Pentagon, government officials discussed and reviewed major topics of the Gulf crisis. One such topic was the amount of money this war will cost in relation to the U.S.'s latest debt. They found that this war can wage on for the U.S. for seven more months. Although we believe Saddam Hussein will surrender within this time period, we must be precautious. The second topic was in relation to the F-16 and stealth bombers and other expensive but moderately scientific weaponry, and if they should be purchased and built from other countries. The final topic was in relation to Israel. The threat of chemical warfare is increasing, and local civilians are complaining that the U.S. is of no help. The U.N. had little activity today, except for the English officials condemning... Wolf, Wolf, we just got word that, that, that there has been a sky attack on Jerusalem. Sorry to cut in, but now we have to go to Jerusalem and Richard Blystone. Hello, Richard. Hello, Ted. We're positive now that there has been a scud attack. We're not sure how many or if they've been intercepted by Patriots, but we are sure now that there has been scuds that were headed this way. Are they telling you to put your gas masks on? Uh, yes, they are, and the TVs are telling us how to put them on, Ted. Are you in a sealed room? Uh, yes, we are in the hotel. Thank you, we'll get back to you. Saudi Arabia. Hello, Charles, have there been any air raid sirens or warnings? No, Ted, there hasn't. Just two hours ago, there was a siren, though, but it was a false alarm. I just heard about the scud in Jerusalem. Hey, now to the topic of the air base here. It was a little quieter due to the bad weather, but planes were still flying out with bombs, coming back with none. 
I talked to one of the pilots and he told me a bag that was up on a Christmas tree. Dead. Any questions? Uh, uh, yeah. How many planes have flown into Iran? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. How many Iraqi planes have flown into Iran? Uh, I cannot answer that at this point in time. Oh, uh, the, the, oh, oh, uh, yes. Uh, do you have any information on the oil spill in the Persian Gulf? Uh, that's confidential. I'll get back to you on that. Oh, yes. How, how many POWs have Ar Iraqis caught yet? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I can get back to you. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, yes. Are there any questions that you are able to answer at this juncture? I, I really can't tell you at this uh, point in time, but oh, I can get back to you. Oh, this, oh, uh, yes. Do you know if Saddam Hussein is in his bunker yet? Repeat the question. Do you know if Saddam Hussein is staying in his bunker yet? Um, no, I don't really know, and if I did, I couldn't tell you. Uh, oh, oh! Any questions? Uh, yes? Yeah. Um, I was wondering about the, uh, Powell and Cheney in Saudi Arabia, uh, and about the relation to the troops. How many troops do we have there at, at this time? Um, I really can't tell you. Oh, and, oh! Uh, it's and, confidential. Uh, yes? And about Cheney, um, will he be sent there again? Will, and Powell, will they be sent there again? I really don't know. Oh, uh, yes? Um, I'd like to know, uh, there's been rumor that Powell will become Bush's running mate in 1992. Do you, is that possible, do you think? Uh, I really don't know, and if I did, uh, I will come. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>